Europe will not help the US in the confrontation with China due to war in Ukraine. On the anniversary NATO summit in Washington, the Los Angeles Times published interesting material concerning the mood within the North Atlantic Alliance. The publication emphasizes that despite the obvious similarity in the rhetoric of Western leaders regarding the Russian-Ukrainian conflict and the possible confrontation between the United States and China, Europe will not help the United States in the Asia-Pacific region. According to the author of the material, the states of the old world that are part of the Western military bloc have no need and no desire for this. The US expects Europe to join its campaign to counter China's rise just as allies rallied against Russia's invasion of Ukraine, writes the Los Angeles Times. At the same time, the publication emphasizes that Europe currently has neither the military means nor the political appetite to provide significant assistance to the United States in containing China in Asia. According to the publication, Europeans are already disappointed with their participation in endless wars after September 11 and are wary of America's penchant for military intervention. The publication believes that it is not worth drawing far-reaching conclusions from the fact that the European military has begun to carry out maritime patrols in the Indo-Pacific region. The armed forces of European countries are too poorly equipped for full-scale military missions far from their shores. Half of German tanks are in a terrible state, and yet Germany is the leading economic power on the continent. Britain, once a world power, could run out of ammunition within two months of intense fighting. France's army has shrunk from 15 divisions during the Cold War to just two today, reminds a newspaper. According to the editors, even if Europe wants to organize full-fledged military bases in this region, it simply does not have enough funds to realize these goals. Much of NATO Europe would struggle to defend itself against a decisive Russian attack, let alone a power projection in Asia, emphasizes the publication. In this regard, according to the author of the material, the public statements of European leaders that they make at various summits should not be given much importance. Having finished advocating for democracy at international summits, these political leaders return to their democracies where their policies will be determined and constrained by the preferences of voters, summarizes the publication. A large chemical explosion triggered a blaze at the Daramut factory which then engulfed the building located at an industrial park An explosion sparked the fire at the chemical factory on Swan Drive in Daramut. The fire was quickly upgraded from a fifth to a seventh alarm, the first time in four years Fire Rescue Victoria have made such a declaration, which Deputy Commissioner Michelle Cowling said demonstrated the dangerous nature of the blaze. At one point, a large fireball with bright orange flames erupted from the factory which is located in a large industrial area bordered by the Western Freeway. Almost 200 firefighters have come to the area. Crews have successfully managed to bring a massive factory fire in Melbourne's west under control four hours after a large chemical explosion. A number of 44-gallon drums at the factory, which contained various hazardous chemicals, were sent flying through the air due to the impact of the explosion. The warehouse itself is full with multiple types of chemicals and those drums are being impinged by fire so they are exploding and therefore they launch into the air and land outside of the fire perimeter. Those explosions that you're hearing are those drums, they are stacked inside the building. So those drums, as they get impinged, they heat up inside, so the chemicals that are kept in liquid form are expanding until the pressure gets inside those drums and then they explode, Cowling told. No injuries were reported and it was believed everyone inside the building was evacuated safely. Residents in the areas affected by the thick smoke coming from the blaze were told to take shelter indoors. The suburbs are urged to stay inside and close all windows, doors, vents and heating or cooling systems. A wind change has caused the toxic smoke to be blown towards Boundary Road, Fire and Rescue Victoria said in its latest update. The owner of the business is currently working with WorkSafe and Victoria Police. Mad. It's insane. Oh, shut up. Yeah, they're beeping at you, Mom. <laughs> Look what we're going to be breathing in later.